SpongeBob! Oh, 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 SpongeBob! Yeah, Patrick? It's done! What's done? My comic book! What comic book? The one I've been writing for the past three years. Here, you gotta read it. Okay, Patrick, if it will make you happy. We begin our story in the small town of Seaweed City, where the most dangerous criminals live. But even the most sinister criminals are no match for Seaweed City's hero, Patrick Man. We join Patrick Man in the pet cave. Oh my goldfish! Albert, get over here! Yes, Master Star. Look, crime has gone up 100%. So you're reading that backwards. It says 0 0.1 which actually in percent means it's only one percent. No matter, that's still too many percents. No, I said one percent. What? I said one percent. Yeah, I know, but I meant the other two. Oh, the T-O-O? -O? No, the T-O. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's the T-O-O. -O. Oh, forget this. Hey, look, it's the pet signal. I don't see the pet signal. That's because it's over there. Wait, then why were you pointing in that direction? There's no time to answer that question with Neptune swiftness. Away! I wonder if I should tell him that he wore his bib backwards again. Hello, Commissioner SpongeBob. Patrick Man, thank guppies you're here. What seems to be the problem? Your arch enemy, the Inker, has broken out of jail. That fiend! But you're going to have to deal with him later, because the money mangler is robbing Seaweed National Bank. Have no fear. Patrick Man is here, with Neptune swiftness. Away! I'm okay. Hey boss, I thought we were going to have some huge explosion entrance. Well, originally we were, but Blind Eye Terry forgot the explosives. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? We're over here, Terry. I just forget it. Now, where's the car? I don't know. Terry drove us here. Oh, right. Now why did I have him drive us here again? Stop right there, money mangler. I don't think so, Patrick man. Get him, boys. <laughs> You're facing the wrong way, Terry. Sorry. Well, it looks like it's time for the pit punch. <laughs> well, I didn't see that coming. You're going to jail, money mangler. Knock, knock. Ooh, who's there? Oh, uh, ink! Ha, ha, ha. Nighty-night, Patrick man. Oh, where am I? Oh, no! It's the biggest villains in all of Seaweed City. The inker, the money mangler, the rodent. And don't forget about me. <gasps> Planktron! What are you evil villains planning? Using this inklifier powered by my ink gun, we're going to ink all of Seaweed City! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I better call in the Patmobile! I'm so glad that Master Star is off playing Patrick Man. That gives me a chance to clean the Patmobile. Calling Patmobile. Calling Patmobile. Wait, what? Oh no! Well, I should probably call the hospital. Not sure how, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just had an idea. Why don't we test the ray on Patrick Man? Yes. Any last words, Patrick Man? Just one. Look out. Um, that was like. Two plus the just one, which makes like five words. Ah! Oh! oh no! 
the Patmobile. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. It's <laughs> not so fast, Patrick Man. Nothing can save you now. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Patrick Man. <laughs> Somebody get me out of here. Don't worry, sir. I'm coming. Uh, it might take a while, though. There's just one person left to get. Uh, 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 I don't think so, Patrick Man. <laughs> Darn it. Nice job, Patrick Man. You've caught nearly all of Seaweed City's most sinister supervillains. We're still looking for the money mangler. Sir, sir, I found you. Okay, now how do we get out? Oh. I don't know. All in a starfish's day of work. Now, if you excuse me, with Neptune swiftness, away! Um, the exit is over here. Then Patrick Man flew away to get some donuts. Wow, Patrick, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Thanks! Uh, I think. Also, I sent a copy to Crazy Films to see if he'll make it into a stop motion. What the heck is a pit punch? I want to destroy Patrick Man, but I need your help. Are you in? Our story begins at Seaweed City National Bank, where the anchor is speaking to his brother. What do you want, Squidward? How many times do I have to tell you? It's the anchor. Whatever. Listen, I need you to bail me out of jail. Again? I had to sell my car to get you out of jail last time. Please, I'll do anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Okay, if I bail you out of jail, then you have to give me back my bicycle. But that's my ink cycle. Okay, then. Bye. Okay, okay. You can have your bike. Oh, come on! What's the matter, sir? Oh, it's just that I'm playing this game of online checkers, and I can't beat this guy for some reason. Sir, that's chess, not checkers. What's the difference? Well, you see, chess is played on a square board of eight rows, called ranks, and denoted with numbers 1 to 8, an 8 column, called files, and denoted with letters A to H, of squares. The colors of the 64 squares alternate, and are referred to... <laughs> Finally, I'm out of jail. Now I can get my revenge on Patrick Man. Oh, and uh, here's your bike. Yay! Huh, it's great to be out of jail. Hey, it's the Inker. He's broken out of jail. Get him! No, I just got bailed out! Right hand end of the rank, nearest to the player, and the piece is set out as shown. Well, after a minor setback, looks like I'm back in the game. Now all I have to do is go down Commissioner Squarepants' chimney, karate chop him in the neck, and then pull him back to my headquarters. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you doing on my chimney? Um... Oh, ink! Oh, you got it in my mouth! It tastes disgusting! Huh, I guess I didn't hit him with the knockout ink. Oh well, better try it again. Oh, gross! Oh, you got it in my mouth again! Oh, and now I'm feeling woozy. And so, sir, that is how you play chess rather than checkers. Like I said, what's the difference? Ha ha ha! Inker! That's right, Patrick Man. How did you get out of jail? My brother Octavius bailed me out. He had to sell his boat, but he still got me out of jail. Anyway, I've kidnapped Commissioner Squarepants, and if you don't show your identity to me by five o'clock tonight, I'm going to drop him into a big pile of permanent ink. Help me, Patrick Man! 
permanent ink never comes off, even when you scrub it really, really hard with soap. You have till five o'clock, Patrick Man. I have to go save Commissioner Squarepants with Neptune swiftness away. Finally, he's gone. Now I can watch Wheel of Fortune. Oh ha! Ha ha ha! The old bucket of ink over the door trick. And not just any ink, that's acid ink. It will burn off your mask, and I will finally be able to see who you are. That was a great plan, except you forgot one thing. And what would that be? I brought my backup mask. Oh no, I'll never be able to tell who you are in that thing. No, it's time for you to taste your own ink, inker. Oh! Wait, do you mean that literally or figuratively? <coughs> oh, this tastes disgusting! I told you. Now come on, Patrick Man, let's get this criminal back to jail. Um, uh, I'm in jail again, so do you mind, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hey, give me back my purse, I mean satchel. No. I'd listen to the civilian if I were you. Who are you? I'm Patrick Man. Ah! Albert, I think the toilet's backed up again. I graduated from Harvard, and this is what I have to show for my life. Don't forget to use the electric plunger. Huh, I'm getting a police report. Planktron has been spotted in Starfish City. I gotta get over there right away, with Neptune's swiftness away! Does he have to say that every time? Hey everyone, look, it's multi-billionaire Patrick Starr! Uh, hello, everybody of Starfish City! Meow, meow! Oh no, a snail needs some help! What do I do? I know! Hey everyone, look over there! Uh, uh, come on, stupid waffle, come get on my head! Uh, 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 hey, it's Patrick Man! Where did he come from? Have no fear, snail! Patrick Man is coming! Uh, uh, uh. Hey, you! Huh? Get away from that snail! No! Don't make me use the pit punch! hey -ya. Hey, who are you? I'm Starfish Man. <laughs> Starfish Man? What a stupid name! So, anyway, what's your superhero name? Um, Starfish Man is my superhero name. Oh, that makes way more sense now. Anyway, where's that snail? Meow. Hey, what's going on? Hey, look, it's that snail from the alley. Quick snail, rip Plankton circuits out and then untie us. That's not just any snail. That's my arch enemy, E. Scargo. What do you want with us, Plankton? Wait, when you ask that question, your enemy actually responds? Yeah, what does E. Scargo do? He just sits there and meows. Anyway, what do you want with us, Blinktron? I'll let my clones tell you. Meet Pat Man and the Armored Star. Oh no, if the third movie of Star Wars has taught us anything, it's taught us that clones are evil. Now, get them. The rubber band is off now. Get it? Because uh, you tied me up with a rubber band. Oh! Um, I'm over here. Wait, look! Iskar Go has a controller on his head. He must be controlling the clones. All we have to do is get that off. 
Oh, oh, got it! Hey, Plank trying to get in away! <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Planktron. Well, I guess we should call the commissioner. Wait, who's your commissioner? I'll get these two to prison for you. Thanks, Commissioner Jenkins. Excuse me, can I get a different hero name? I just don't like mine. Hey, it's better than Starfish Man, am I right? What? Patrick, why is this called Patrick Man Returns when we just saw a Patrick Man episode? Because it sounds cool. What? No way! Someone's giving away free ice cream online! Hmm, but how many should I get? I know, I'll get two! So, do remember that the keyboard is still sticky from when you spilled fruit punch on it earlier? Oh, don't worry, Albert. I got this. Delivery! Yay! My ice cream is here! Okay, drop it down. Wait, that's more than I need. That's more than I need! Sir, what's going on over here? Oh. 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 Sir, I told you that keyboard was sticky. Sorry, but we're going to have to eat all this ice cream if we don't want it to go bad. Huh? Here's your receipt for 200 pounds of shaving cream. Wait, this is shaving cream? What was that about shaving cream? Oh, nothing. Aren't you going to tell him? No, he's going to eat it all the way. Albert, are you coming? One moment, sir. There you are, Albert. So, why did you make me carry all the heavy stuff? What? It wasn't that heavy. I was literally carrying a bag of rocks and a dumbbell. Besides, what are we doing out here anyway? We're gonna catch a turkey for Thanksgiving. But Thanksgiving was like three days ago. Yeah, but on Thanksgiving, I got captured by the Inker and was tortured by having to watch the Star Wars prequels and the new Fantastic Four movie. Then I was shipped to Africa where I survived on nothing but peanuts and elephant fur just to wind up on a plane sending me back to Seaweed City, where by the time I got back, Thanksgiving was over. So I packed up my paintball gun and got ready to hunt. Okay, but why don't we just buy a turkey at the store? They have turkeys at stores? Hey, it's a turkey! <coughs> um, sir, that's not a turkey, that's a jellyfish. <coughs> Oh, sorry. I really should have put my contacts in this morning. At least jellyfishes don't travel in packs. Right, Albert? Albert? Oh, oh, yo, oh, oh, yo, oh. Yo. So, have you seen my tux? I have to be a judge at seaweed court, and I don't want to look silly. Um, so, why are you wearing my tux? Well, I can't find mine, so I took yours. Why do you even need a tux? Because I'm going to be in a movie! You're going to be in a movie? Yup. Johnny, get that car fixed! Philip, get me a sandwich! And where is that fake blood I've been asking for? Hello, Mr. Director. Oh, Patrick Grant, what are you doing here? I'm here to star in my movie. Actually, we just got it finished. What? How? I wasn't even here. Well, you see, we went in a different direction. What do you mean? Well, instead of casting you, we casted Starfish Man and just called him Patrick Man. It appears the audience would rather have a costume superhero than a person with a cone on his head. How oh, dare you? There's nothing wrong with my costume. The P on your chest is backwards. Ah, sir, the trailer for the movie is done. Great! Uh, you're welcome to watch it. Okay.
She reads city, a peaceful place, until the super villains attack. <laughs> Wait a minute, you didn't even get the real Inker? Nah, due to his criminal record, we couldn't hire him. But keep watching. With only one hero who can stop them. Ah! Huh? Patrick, man! Stop right there, Inker! Patrick Mann may be strong, but he's no match for his newest villain, the Giggler. Heh heh heh. What? No! What's the matter? You can replace me! We also replaced your butler with an actor who would appeal more to the audience. Locke, why did you point in that direction then? How was that? Eh, could have been better. Anyway, you can replace me! You can replace the Inker, but you cannot create new villains whenever you want! I'm out of here. So, Patrick Mann doesn't think I'm real, but well, he's about to be very, very surprised. <laughs> Patrick Mann the movie! Coming soon to tens of theaters. Okay, welcome Evil Villains Against Patrick Man, or Evap for short. Wait a minute, wouldn't that be Evapum? No, because Patrick Man is one word, you know, like Batman. Oh! Who? People, focus! I know we have this meeting every other week, but this is the week that we think of an idea to destroy Patrick Man. So, any ideas? We could hit him with a shovel! We could take his money! We could... <coughs> Sorry. Hello? Um, I'm lost again. Get a job, Hippie! Hey, I do have a job. It's called robbing banks! <coughs> oh, uh, look! Seasons 1 through 3! Huh? <laughs> Dang it, Blind-Eyed Terry! Don't worry, I'll come and get you. You see, this is why I brought in a new villain to help us. Everyone meet the Giggler. Huh, he kind of looks like Commissioner Squarepants. That's because I'm his cousin. Now the Gingler has a plan to use all of our strengths to defeat Patrick Man. But what about the other starfishes? You know we wouldn't even have to worry about them if someone hadn't made clones of them. I'm sorry, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. Don't worry, they won't be a problem. Okay, first things first. What does everyone think of the new headquarters? I like it. Good, because it costs four million dollars and half the pet cave. Um, where's my room? Okay, League of Stars, we have an important assignment we need to address. Pepperoni or plain? Pepperoni! I agree, so pepperoni it is. Hey, I want plain. Me too. I don't get it. We're clones, but we never agree on anything. Sure we do. There was that time that we... Oh, never mind. <gasps> the criminal alert! Looks like it's Blind-Eyed Terry and the other guy. Well, League of Stars, let's go! Press the dead tone, Okay. Hey, why is nothing happening? I don't know. You barnacle head! You grabbed the remote, not the detonator! Sorry. Stop right there, blind-eyed Terry and the other guy. I have a name. Well, you're gonna have to tell it to the judge because I'm bringing you to court. Hey, that was a pretty good one-liner. Thanks, I've been practicing. Well, you're no match for us, Patrick man. There's two of us and only one of you. Make that two on two! Three on two! Four on two. 
Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Good job, Patrick Man. We're bringing these villains back to prison where they belong. No problem, Commissioner. Oh, while they were beating us up, did you get the buttons on them? Yep. It was either them, a jellyfish, or both. <laughs> Good job today, League of Stars. Now if you excuse me, I have to go take a shower. Since when did you start taking showers? Since this ice cream cone on my head got stuck to my head every time I got too sweaty, so if I don't take a shower after a battle, the cone sticks to my head for at least a month. Okay. Okay, the buttons will activate in ten, nine, eight. Hey, Starfish Man, what do you have on your back? Five, four, three. Hey, you have the same thing on your back. Two, one. Ready for action. Oh, that was a nice shower. Too bad this red button shortened out on my back and shocked me. Oh well. Huh? Guys? Guys? Later at the police station. Do, 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 type it to type. Commissioner, I need to use your computer. Sure, let me just delete some tabs. You're on a dating website? Stupid computer, it never deletes tabs fast enough. So, can I use your computer? Sure. Great, because I needed to track the rest of the league. They destroyed all the computers at the Hall of Stars. No problem. Wait a minute, don't people need a tracking device on them to track them? Oh yeah, I got that covered. Oh, wait, what? You put a tracking device on them? When? After they fell asleep in a turkey coma during Thanksgiving. Aha! Uh -huh, I got their location! Wait a minute, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna need some help. Well, everyone, we did it! We have the link of stars and can make them do whatever we want! Like doing our laundry! Or balancing our taxes! I was thinking in more the line of conquering Starfish City and Seaweed City. We'll still make them do our taxes, right? Of course. Ah, a superhero, a sponge, and an old guy. That's old man to you, missy. No, where's the rest of the league? Why, they're right here. Oh, there you guys are. Oh, I've been so worried. I mean, I've been calling, you know, I've- Oh! Oh, what the heck, man? You idiot. Can't you see that they're being controlled? Giggler, I haven't seen you since Thanksgiving. And this will be the last time you'll be seeing me. League of Stars, attack! You wanna fight? I'll do exactly what I did at the Alamo! Ah! What happened? I'll explain later, but by the looks of it, if we get these buttons off the rest of the league, they'll turn back to normal. You're not going to win, Giggler. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Now any last words, Commissioner SpongeBob? Um, excuse me. What? Hello. Ah, uh, yeah! That was for you, David Crockett. Oh, no. Well, at least they're still on the bus. Ah, fresh paste. Good job, Patrick Man. We won't be seeing these villains ever again. Well, at least until they break out of jail and plot revenge. Yep. Tell me again why we're going to this mysterious island. Patience, my dear Inker. We're here. <laughs> okay, you better tell me why we spent three hours rowing a boat here. Let me tell you a story. A long time ago, when I was in college, I needed some money. So I sold my DNA to Doodle Tech. They were a company who worked on this very island. They were trying to create clones. 
Sadly, the clones they did create, using my DNA, went crazy and destroyed the place. So if the clones went crazy, then why are we here? Because Doodletech found a way to control one of the clones using this pencil. <laughs> so where is this clone? He's right over there. Today is a big day in Seaweed City history. As mayor of this town, I declare today National Patrick Man's Day. I love Patrick Man. He signed my shirt. Well, he signed my baby. Well, he signed my kidney. What? Yeah, I had surgery like two minutes ago. They took out my kidney. I'm kind of not feeling too good. Without further ado, I give you Patrick Man. Of course, he gets a holiday. No holiday for the Hall of Stars. <sighs> Typical. Okay, you can do this, Patrick. Just go up there and say thank you. It's an honor. Just like how you did when you won that Oscar. I'm the opposite of honored and I hate all of you. He always knows just what to say. Wait, uh, I meant to say... Uh what the? <laughs> Quick, we have to help him. I'd sit back down if I were the two of you. Oh, my Neptune. <laughs> well, taste my pit punch, evildoer. <laughs> oh, fish. Come on. Mama, are the cookies ready? That's it. Oh. Oh. Destroy Patrick Man! Freeze! No! Not Commissioner Squarepants! He was so square and smooth! And now he's just... Square and smooth. Huh. I guess he's about the same. Quick, sir! Get in here! Hello everyone, as you can see, my little friend Doodlebob here has gotten rid of Patrick Man and the police. So, since we're now the most dominant force in Seaweed City, we will control this city. <laughs> okay, bye. Don't worry, if this town needs a hero, I will be that hero! Albert, we can't just sit here in the sewers while the town is being taken over. Sir, we have to. There's no way you'll be able to defeat Doodlebob by yourself. I won't need to. I can call the League of Stars. Yeah, you might want to look at this video the Inker posted on his Instaclam. Hello, Patrick Man, and my other six followers on Instaclam. As you can see, I have Starfish Man and Pat Man held captive. This would have never happened if you would have just sat down. I'm sorry, my legs were not made to sit. If you don't turn yourself into us, we're going to have some more paper to draw on. <laughs> Doodle Bob, get away from the camera. No, Doodle Bob, stop attacking the camera. Man. Oh, somebody help me. I have no choice. I need to rescue them. But you'll need help. How about the armored star? No, he's in Mexico. But don't worry, I have another idea. You got any fives? <laughs> what? No again? Let me see that hand. The only hands you're going to be seeing, Inker, are handcuffs. Patrick, man, did you come to turn yourself in? No. Good. I was hoping you wouldn't. <laughs> Get him, Doodle Bob. Not so fast. Meet my new sidekick, Albert Man. If I die, I'm so going to quit this job. <laughs> oh, 
All right, Albert, you can do this. You may have broken your leg on purpose to get out of World War II, but you're not backing down from this fight. I can do this. I couldn't do it. Dang it, Albert. Oh! Quick, Albert, slide over the axe I hid in your pocket. Sir, I can assure you, there is no axe in my... Oh, my crumb cakes. How did I not know this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just slide it over here. Let's do this! What just happened? I'm telling you, he would have wanted us to write mustaches on him! How would you know that? You've only known him for like seven minutes. I'm free! I'm free! By the way, I could hear everything you were saying. Oh. Oh ho! I saved the city! More like doomed it. What are you talking about? Can't you see? That pencil was the only thing controlling the Doodlebob from going out of control. Without the pencil, the Doodlebob would go crazy and destroy all of Seaweed City. Oh no! No no no! <laughs> what are you laughing about? You don't know? At the bottom of this building is an ocean. And the ocean is full of rocks so sharp it will cut a person in half just looking at them. Patrick Man won't survive. What? No! I didn't know Patrick Man too good, but I did know that he was a good starfish. I mean, not counting the times he stole my fruit bars from the fridge or the time he ran over all my good capes. You know, now that I think about it, Patrick Man was a- Ah, uh, that's enough, Starfish Man. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him so much. Yeah, me too. Who are we missing, by the way? Uh, sir, you're alive, but how? Simple. When I fell, I landed on Doodlebob, and he broke my fall. You know, this day actually isn't that bad. I'm not dead, and I have my own day. Yes, but your day is on February 29, so you only get to celebrate it every four years. Oh, but I'm so glad you're back. Now you can pay for the funeral. I mean, it costs like millions of dollars. Sir? Of course. There! All done with another ice cream cone. Hello, Steve. Hello, Mr. Bubblefish. Steve, I need to tell you something. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get a promotion. After all, I've been working here for like 20 years. You're fired. Yes! What? Sorry, Steve, you're just not as good as you used to be. Now hand in your uniform. I've been working here for 20 years, and this is what I get. Steve, what are you doing with that ice cream cone? No, Steve, put it down. Put it down, Steve. No! No! Thank guppies you're here, Patrick Man. I came as soon as I got the call. Now be prepared. It's pretty terrible. Dear Neptune, he's been creamed! No! Attention, evildoers! I am in need of henchmen. Join me, and together we will destroy Candy Corporation. What? Dang it, Siri! You brought me to the wrong place again! Attention, evildoers! I am in need of henchmen. Join me! Ugh, forget this. Who wants to join me? Depends. Will we get paid? You'll get paid in candy. Deal. Yeah, we'll join too. No, we won't. We already work for the money mangler. Yeah, but he hardly even pays us. Wait, you get paid? So, what are you doing? I've been going through the Candy Corporation's employee records, and I think I found our mystery candy man. His name is Steve Fishington. He's been working there for 20 years. However, he was fired there yesterday. The day Mr. Bubblefish was attacked. Wait, you figured this out? By yourself? Yeah, I've been eating a lot of these Smarties. Turns out they actually work. Huh. Okay, boys. 
get all the candy you could get. Okay, time for me to use my karate skills. Do you even do karate? Of course I do. I've watched a ton of Jackie Chan movies. Well, call me back when you're done. No time to watch my soap opera. La 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 la! Alright, time to do this. Hello. Oh, fish paste. Hey, boss, we found Patrick Man snooping around. Interesting. Drop him in the cotton candy machine. No, Candy Man, stop! Before you kill me in the way I always dreamed of dying, listen to me. Don't you see what you're doing? Candy is meant to be enjoyed. It's not meant to be a weapon. It's meant to bring a smile on someone's face when they see it, and in some occasions give them stomach ache. Okay, most occasions, but look into your heart. Don't do this. Wow, that really makes me think of how much I'm going to enjoy watching you perish. Drop him! Oh no! Now I need to make a phone call. Hello? Hey, Anchor. I just killed Patrick Man on my first try. What? You've got to be kidding me. Hey, boss, you're going to want to see this. What? Oh. You ate all the cotton candy? How? This is nothing. I once ate an entire gingerbread house the size of a skyscraper. Freeze, Candy Man. Ah, uh, dang it. So, what was that about killing Patrick Man on your first try? Shut up. <laughs> when this uranium bomb blows up, it'll be the end of Starfish City. Not if I have anything to say about it. Starfish Man, you're too late. The bomb will go off in three, two... <laughs> hey, let go! Uh, oh no, I think I have a car on top of me. Ooh! Oh. My. Neptune, I have super strength! Attention everyone, I have an important announcement. I was given superpowers! Cool! What kind of powers? Well, I have super strength, I can run faster, and I can shoot lasers from my eyes. Hey everyone, check out my new wig! Aw, that's awesome, Starfish Man! Welp, let's get rid of those powers! What? Well, don't you see? Now that you have powers, someone might try to control your mind to get you to do evil stuff for them. Like that would ever happen. Amazing! Thanks to that bomb, I can control people's minds. I'll be unstoppable! <laughs> oh no, there's a crime alert! I'll go. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Rodent! Well... It looks like you got powers from that explosion. I also got powers. I can breathe underwater. Oh man, I wish I would have gotten that superpower. And I can control people's minds. Uh-oh. Patrick Man, Patrick Man! What is it? Storefish Man has gone nuts. He's been robbing banks all across Seaweed City. Good thing I had a plan just in case he turned evil. Wait, Starfish Man has only had his powers for a couple of hours, so why do you have that suit? Quiet, I'm always prepared. Tell me, Starfish Man. Do you bleed? I actually don't know whether you bleed or not because we're starfishes and our limbs grow back. How did you find me? Oh, well I've just been jumping on every roof. This is like my eighth roof. The last one I went on was weird. Oh, I got you now, starfish mo- oh, 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 I'm so sorry, I must have the wrong roof. Yeah. 
You're not brave. Starfishes are brave. But I am a starfish. Oh, then I guess the next 21 liners I had planned aren't going to make any sense. How does it feel, Starfish Man, to know you've been beaten? Time to end you. Starfish man! I said keep a lookout, not get into a fight! Oh well, we'll just destroy him, and then we'll get out of here. Starfish man, wait! Uh, look at this! What the? Quick, Batman, right now! Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Huh? What was that? It was a machine I took from East Gargo's lab a while ago. It completely neutralizes powers. How do we know if it worked on the rodent? <laughs> it worked. So, are you alright? Yeah. Sorry I was mad about you getting your powers. The thing is, I was just jealous. Really? No, it just felt like the thing to say. Anyway, I'm gonna go ride home in my limousine because I'm a millionaire. See ya! I'm okay. No, no, no! That was my last good cape! Well, that's what you get for drinking all of my drinkable sausage. They even had my name on them. Grr. Uh, break it up, you two. Well, it looks like Patrick Man and Starfish Man aren't getting along. I think it's time we put our plan into action. Meow. Yeah! Um, who are you? I'm the Candy Man. I thought you said the Money Mangler was going to help us. Meow, meow. Money! Freeze, Money Mangler. Hey, what are you guys talking about? I don't speak snail. Also, why does your voice sound less like a robot? Because I got a new voice chip that makes me sound less like a robot. Oh. Looks like Planktron, Iskar, Go, and the Candyman have been spotted outside the bank. Well, let's go get them. No, we're going to get them. You two are going to stay here and clean up this mess. What mess? You mean besides the dirty capes, tire tracks, and empty cans of drinkable sausage? Yeah, besides that. Ugh, how can we be clones? Listen, you and Starfish Man are going to clean up this mess. We'll go get the bad guys. Fine. Great, we'll be back soon. Hey, Albert, I'm going to be needing this. Wait, so I was using that as a cane. Oh, oh, great. Hands in the air. Ah, here, take all the money. I don't need the money. Wait, so you came into a bank with a gun, but you don't want me to give you the money? Well, I'll take the money eventually. I'm just waiting for some people. Oh. So, who are you waiting for? Stop right there! Perfect. The only two starfish we need have arrived. Candyman, the door. Ha <laughs> ha! Now gas them, Escargo. Meow. 
Oh, oh, oh no, not go girls. Oh, oh, oh. Hey guys, <coughs> you forgot <coughs> to give me <coughs> a gas mask. <coughs> now let's grab Pat Man and the armored star and the money. <coughs> See, that makes more sense. Ugh. Hey guys, sorry we're late, but somebody forgot to fill the Petmobile with gas. I don't see why that's such a big deal. We only live a couple blocks away. You know, Starfish Man, I wish you were still being brain controlled, because then that would give me an excuse to punch you right in the- Hey, what happened here? Look who I found! Oh yeah! Where are they? <coughs> <coughs> sorry, there was something in my throat. Where's Pat Man and the Armored Star? Ace Cargo and Plankton may have betrayed me, but there's no way I'm going to rat them out. Really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I've just always wanted to say that. I'll tell you exactly where they are. Oh, well great. <laughs> what do you want with us? Well, I'll have to explain it to you. Whoa, what happened to your voice? I got a new voice chip. Oh, so what's your plan? Well, when East Guard Go and me cloned Patrick Man and Starfish Man, we made you. You were supposed to obey us, but Patrick Man and Starfish Man stopped that from happening. Oh uh, yeah, I'm still confused. Long story short, East Guard Go and I put a chip in your brain, and when you're hit with a certain amount of energy, the chip will activate and you will be under our control. But this time, it will be permanent. <laughs> oh no! East Guard Go, activate the energy ray. Wow. Wait, don't we get any last words? Nope. Firing in three, two... What? Hey! Great, now that laser is going to hit something I didn't intend it to hit. With Neptune's swiftness away! What? Oh, oh. yo! Yeah. East Cargo, let's get him! East Cargo? I'll get you, Patrick Man! Oh, great, you broke my voice chip! Get him! Why not the face? Nice job, League of Stars. Well, we're gonna bring Planktron to prison, and it looks like we've caught all of Evap. Except for Iskar Go. Well, he's just a snail. He can't do too much damage. Good point. Do you think we should tell him about the stray laser beam? No, the laser beam probably just dissolved in midair. How's the studying going, Dr. Marcus? Great. I've been studying this thing ever since they found it in the ocean, and I think I'm finished. What is it? Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it's definitely dangerous. Good thing it's dead. Yep. Ah! Oh, what's going on? Oh my goodness, what is happening? I told you to shut the sunroof. I'm sorry, I forgot. A little late for sorries. I think everything's okay. Whoa. Huh? Ah. Oh no. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Somebody let me out. I need to get out. Somebody, I don't want to be turned into paper. Huh? Oh. Aha! I'm free. Free! Okay, Albert, are you ready for the greatest surprise of your life? Ta-da! My very own private theater! Sir, why would you even need a private theater? To watch movies privately, ta. Well, now that you've shown me this, we have a situation over at Star Industries. Wait, why are we here? Sir, I told you like several times. To be honest, I just blocked you out. Huh. The reason we're here is because every time something goes wrong, the owner, that's you, needs to observe the damages. Well, what happened? 
I'm not sure, but I heard the entire top floor was ripped apart, and then the floor fell to the next floor. Oh, so that's where the elevator only goes to the 89th floor. Yep, and that's where we're going. Huh? Hey, Commissioner Spongebob. Um, do I know you? Sure you do. It's me, Patrick Ma- Patrick Starr? He, he was going to say Patrick Starr. He's the owner of the company. No, I was going to say Patrick Ma- Starr? He was going to say Starr. Why would I- <gasps> Oh, right! He doesn't know that I'm Patrick Ma- Shh, sh 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 just, just be quiet. Nice to meet you, Mr. Starr. Since you're the owner, I'll let you look around. But there's nothing to look at. It's just floor and rubble and paper. Oh, no. What is it, sir? Do you remember that employee we hired with the dumb haircut and glasses? Yes. Why? Look. Hey, we're free. Hey, it's Doodlebob. With his help, we'll rule the city. Um, he doesn't look very happy. Close the door, close the door. I don't understand. How is Doodlebob alive? Um, sir, I have something to confess. Albert, I already know you double dip, and I'm totally fine with it. Actually, it's about Doodlebob. What is it? Well, you see, after your fight with Doodlebob, we found his remains later and brought them back here. Why? To figure out how he can turn things into paper. Why would my company need paper? Because our main product is paper? It is? I thought we made weapons, or candy, or something like that. Nope, it's paper. Oh no! What? If Doodlebob's alive, he might go after the League of Stars. We have to get to our headquarters. So, did you see the game last night? No. Well, okay then. Doodlebob? Oh no, a bad drawing! Hey, what's going on? Uh. Huh. Hey, Smoke bomb! Oh, wait, that's a regular bomb. My collection of every season of The Bachelorette was in there! What? What? Starfish Man, what happened? Well, Doodlebob came here and then... Let me guess, Doodlebob got Patman in the armored store and then blew up the place. Yep, because that's what happened. Dang it, we'll never be able to defeat Doodlebob by ourselves. I'm here. Oh, Albert, but you're so fragile. Anyway, I have a plan. You go to Starfish City and round up Commissioner Jenkins and all the cops you can find. Got it. What are we going to do, sir? We're going to Commissioner Squarepants and round up all the cops we can find here. Hey, I have a couple messages. Put it on speaker. First message. Hey, Patrick Man, it's Commissioner SpongeBob and... Uh, oh no, Doodlebob just walked in here. Next message. Hey, Patrick, man. It's Commissioner Spongebob again, and Doodlebob is turning people into paper and Next message. Patrick, this is your doctor. Do you still need that medication for that mole on your- Oh, no! Message deleted. Huh. <laughs> Wrong message. We have to get to the police station right now. Well, 
this isn't good. What are we going to do now? I have an idea, sir, but I don't think you're going to like it. So, I want you to help me defeat Doodlebob. I think it's a trap. What? No, you guys are already in jail. Listen, if you help me, I'll let you out of jail. I think we should trust him. I think you should shut up. Well, I did have this huge, complicated plan to escape jail, but this seems simpler, so we'll help you. Great, because I have a plan. Okay, we're about to go into a war zone like you've never seen before. Most of you won't survive. Why is he looking at me? So let's do this. Do you have a question? Um, yeah. Well, I'm new here and I don't really know everyone's name. Your point? Well, I don't want to run out there and then run out of ammo and have to call for someone. But then I couldn't because I wouldn't know their name. So what do you want to do about it? Well, why don't we go around and say our names? Hey, I'll go first. Um, my name is Bob. Hi, Hi Bob. <sighs> this is going to take forever. Where's Starfish Man with our backup? So what's the plan? We run at him. Um, I have an idea. How about we distract him until your backup gets here? Okay, I agree with the psychopath. Yeah. Oh. My name's Bill, and I love kittens. <sighs> Eat my money, you piece of paper! No, don't actually eat my money! Yeah. Oh, come on, that's not even fair! That's it, I'm going straight for Doodlebob. Cover me. Fine. Whoa. You want some? Come and get some. Ah. Uh, I did not realize that there were so many. Ah. No, my arch enemies are being turned into paper. Wait, actually, that doesn't sound so bad. What's going on? No, no, no. Uh, this is bad. Did you call for a rescue? Well, red boys, light them up! Those doodles turned my insides into paper. Same. Uh, I'm getting internal paper cuts everywhere. What's the plan? I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a way to destroy Doodlebob. He's almost indestructible. I have an idea. Albert, what, uh, what are you doing in a barrel? Oh, I've been hiding. Anyway, look over there. <laughs> He gets stuck to paper? That's it! I have a plan! Hey, Doodlebob! Right? Come and get me! Well, I think we put him back together quite nicely. Um, I think you put his head on wrong. Hey, I'm free! Wait, why is my head on backwards? So long, Doodlebob. Whoa! 
Well, a promise is a promise. You're free to go. Hooray! Did Blind Eye Terry and the other guy just walk into a bank? Yep. We should probably go after them. Let's get them. Hello, Doodlebob. You're going to help me destroy this pathetic town. Soon the world will once again know the name of the dreaded Patrick. <laughs> it's beautiful! Um, sir, why do you need a new Patmobile? Well, it all started last week. Oh, oh, another beautiful day. Wow, your car looks exactly like the Patmobile. Wait a minute, is it the Patmobile? Um... Are you Patrick Man? Oh my gosh, guys, he's yeah. Patrick all... So I decided to use this as my Patmobile and my other vehicle as my regular mobile. Well, what makes this vehicle better than your old one? The real question is, what doesn't make it better? It's painted to perfection, has a roaring engine, two seats, and it can do this. Wow. Oh, and it also has autopilot. Here, watch this. I don't have to do a thing. Yeah! Oh wait, never mind. It only has cruise control. Don't worry, we can just buff out those scratches. <laughs> Soon my laugh bomb will be powered up. Then when it explodes, all of Gotham will be laughing. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Note to self, above water walls are harder to break than underwater walls. What? Stop right there, Joker! And who are you supposed to be? Starfish Man? <laughs> no, Starfish Man is my friend. I'm Patrick Man! Oh, okay. Well, time for you to die. Wait, don't you want to know why I'm here and not Batman? Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, Batman and I are doing this program where we switch villains for a day. Meanwhile, in Seaweed City... Well, that was easy. I know. Normally it takes us the whole day to defeat criminals. So what do you want to do now? How about we go shopping? Yeah! Can we, Batman? Ugh, fine, you guys do that. I'm gonna go check on Patrick, man. Wait, Batman, we don't have any money. Here, take my bat credit card. Wait, you actually have a bat credit card? Um, yeah, I can't charge things to Bruce Wayne. <sighs> Lousy kids, no respect for bat credit cards. So yeah, I've been fighting all of Batman's villains today. So far I fought Mr. Freeze and Catwoman. And let me tell you, fighting Catwoman was weird. Meow. No, bad kitty, we do not steal stuff. No, you do not hiss at me. You do not hiss at me. Well, Patrick man, you're too late. My bomb is already powered up, and soon it will explode. <laughs> pit punch! Wait, what did you say about a pit? Well, I gotta admit, I did not see that coming. Time to go to jail, Joker. I don't think so, chubby. <laughs> Seriously, what is it with that dude and laughing? I mean, you'd think he was some kind of jokester. Oh, right. Hey, Patrick, how are things going? Oh, pretty good, except I let the Joker escape. No, you didn't. He's stuck up on the ceiling. Uh, uh, God dang it. I should have known balloons couldn't break through a concrete ceiling. 
um, a little help. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Albert, back from my vacation. Hey, why is the house on fire? It's gone. Oh, don't worry there, son. Everything will be alright. Really? Yeah, probably not. The Seaweed City Community Center proudly presents the Amazing Pat. Thank you, thank you for that amazing introduction. No, who wants to see me pull something out of my hat? What hat? Dang it, I forgot my hat. Oh, 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 oh! Oh man, I'm never gonna get my money back for this magician's costume. Stupid audience and their amazing accuracy of throwing tomatoes. Ow! Huh? Hello? Uh... What are you doing in there? These two guys stole my money and threw me in here! Which way did they go? They went that way, but you can catch up to them if you take the roofs. Thanks! With Neptune's swiftness, away! Ha! <laughs> Things are looking good for us. Good eye, Terry. Yeah. Oh! Cool! There's ice cream in here, and it's covered in mustard. Bonus! Oh, look! A cool plastic fork. Get him, good eye, Terry! You got it, boss. Yeah! Ah, my eyes! My perfectly 20 by 20 vision eyes! Who are you? Oh, I'm Patrick. Patrick, man? Oh, that sounds cool. Let's go with that. I've got to get out of here. Uh, ow. Here you go. Thanks, but who are you? And where's the guy who went to get my money? Wait, with this disguise on, he doesn't know who I am. So, who are you? I'm Patrick Man. I'm almost done. Boo! Ah! Ha! We got Squid to Ink! You think that's funny? Laugh on this! Ah! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Seaweed City Bank. Oh uh, yeah, I just need a hundred dollars. Oh, they don't let me touch the money. I only set up the checking accounts. I get a little crazy when I'm around money. Oh, come on, please. The parking meter only has a minute left on it. Well, okay. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, can you let go of the money? Money? Oh, ah. It's mine. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> We're sorry, Mr. Plankton. You were in an accident. We were able to get you through it. However, we had to change you a bit. And by a bit, I mean a whole lot. To be honest, you're basically a robot. What? It can't be. No! Sandy the Rodent Chinks. As punishment for crimes above the water, we hereby banish you below the water! Oh well, if I can't be evil up there, I'll be evil down here! <laughs> People around Seaweed City can't stop talking about the new hero in town that's calling himself Patrick Man! Yeah, he got my boy's money back, which is great. I actually gave my boy the money for his lunch, and my boy's always losing it. Between you and me, my boy's a real wimp. Dad! Who is this new superhero? More on this story later today! Hmm, huh. I wonder how I get inside. Oh. Huh? Hello there, I'm the Money Mangler. 
And that's the rooted in Planktron. Ha, huh. who gave you those names? Your mommy? Hoog. <laughs> so I assume you all got the invitation to come here as well. Yeah, but we don't know who it's from. The message you received was from me. Um, who are you? You may call me the Dreaded Patrick. I assume by now you have all heard about the new hero, Patrick Man. Yeah, what about him? I want to get rid of him, and I need your help. Wait, wait, wait. You expect us to follow you blindly? Besides, none of us have even ran into Patrick Man. Maybe not yet, but one day Patrick Man will throw you all in jail. I say we take him out before he becomes a threat. Come on, Patrick Man's just some starfish pretending to be a hero. I don't know about that. Patrick Man blinded one of my henchmen and gave the other one a concussion. Okay, how about I say this? If you help me and we succeed, I will give each of you two million dollars. Two million dollars? Now that's a lot of clams. Hmm, sure, why not? Besides, ink isn't very cheap nowadays. Wait a minute, you don't use your own ink? Um, no, why would I use my own ink? That's disgusting. Well, I just thought... No, 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 it, it's made artificially. Well, if they're in, I'm in. Me too. Well then, welcome to the Evil Villains Against Patrick Man, otherwise known as Evap. <laughs> You're a what? A superhero! Sir, this isn't another one of your phases, is it? What phases? You know, like that time you wanted to be a skateboarder. Woohoo! Oh! Albert, call Dr. Marcus! Or that time you wanted to play the piano. Well, sir, that was amazing. What? Oh, I was just listening to this guy playing piano on my MP3 player. This is what I sound like. And we can't forget about the time you wanted to be a ninja. Hey, Albert, check me out! Sir, I don't think you should have weapons in the house. Hiya! Whoops. Oh! Hey, you said you forgave me when I paid for your hand transplant. All that I'm saying is that you shouldn't get people's hopes up for a one-time thing. Actually, it's a permanent thing. What? Albert, listen. Ever since my dad died, I've had a trouble trying to find out what I want to do with my life. But now, I know what I want to do with my life. It's like what you always say, follow your dreams. Not once in my entire life have I ever said that. Hello? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, yes, good. It's your company, Star Industries. They need you for a meeting. Oh, but I hate my company. That's why I've been trying to get into the magic business. Also, I just got an alert that says that a robot and a beaver are attacking the city. Uh, I know I'm going to regret this later, but... Go off and fight them. I'll cover for the meeting. Really? Thanks, Albert. But don't you need to, I don't know, like clean the house? No, ever since you bought that cleaning robot, I've had a lot of free time. That's weird. I don't remember buying a robot. Oh well, bye, Albert. Wait, sir. I have something for you. Is it a puppy? Uh, no. Oh. Before your father passed away, the company was working on these super strength gloves. Whoever wears them will have the strength of ten men. And now, I want to pass them to you. Sir? Awesome! Oven mitts! They're so soft! Look out, crime! Boy, Albert was listening to what you said. Huh. So anyway, what about the company? Oh, well... <laughs> Object located. Contacting the dreaded Patrick. <gasps> Internal affairs! 
Did you say internal affairs? Internal affairs? <coughs> we need to see Commissioner Jenkins right now. Uh, yeah, sure. Go on in. Do, 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 do. Commissioner Jenkins. Internal affairs. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? It's about this new hero, Patrick Man. You wouldn't happen to know who he was, would you? I don't have a clue. We're also here because we've been receiving anonymous tips that you've been acting suspicious. I haven't been acting suspicious. I've just been driving black vans and hanging out in alleys all day. Listen, Jenkins. If we find out you're hiding someplace, we'll replace you. Replace me? With who? <laughs> How about with your lieutenant? La 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 la. Ah! Um, Commissioner, we have a situation downtown. Over. I can't be. Now, if you excuse me, I have somewhere where I need to be. Rah! <laughs> you know, I don't really understand. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. The dreaded Patrick just told us to come down here and cause havoc. Well, you're not going to be causing havoc much longer. Patrick, man, how did you get up there? Oh, I just dropped down from my helicopter. But don't worry, I had a parachute. Wait, who was piloting the helicopter? Oh, I was. But if you jumped out of the helicopter, where's the helicopter now? Oh, well that hurt. And what happened to my voice? Who put you up to this? You could have just been doing this all for fun. I'll never talk. Now we could do this the easy way or the hard way. Or the Chuck Norris way. It's your choice. Okay, okay. They call him the dreaded Patrick. Freeze! Oh no, it's the fuzz! <laughs> Should we go after him? No, he's not our problem. Now round up those criminals. Okay, okay. They call him the dreaded Patrick. Sir, what should we do now? Patrick Man knows you're after him. All Plinktron and the rodent needed to do was get Patrick Man out of his house. Now phase one of my plan is complete. Wait a minute, there are phases? Now I need you to complete my next phase. And what would that be? Getting rid of Commissioner Jenkins. Without him, the police won't be able to stop me. You got it, boss. Objective captured. Um, robot, I spilled some grape juice. Could you come clean it up? Coming. Oh, there you are. Can you clean this place up? Oh my gosh, bossing someone else around is so much fun. No wonder Patrick is always doing it. Um, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Ah, did you come to congratulate me on my arrest? Well, this is an awkward way to say congratulations. Old man Jenkins, you're under arrest. On what charges? Selling seaweed. We caught you on camera an hour ago. Commissioner Jenkins, what's going on? Congrats, kid. You're the new commissioner. What? Squarepants, you need to prove me innocent. I'm innocent, I say. Innocent. But, but how do I do that? Why don't you ask Patrick Man for help? <laughs> That's a great idea. Wait, what? I'll ask Patrick Man for help. Now we need you to take Jenkins to Seaweed City Prison. You got that? Oh, I certainly do. <laughs> You know, this would be suspicious, but you're wearing a police uniform, so I know you're a good guy. Hey, Albert, I'm back. Oh, come on, Albert. There's a couch in the living room. Sleep there. Ugh. No, sir. The robot, it attacked me. Barnacles, I should have kept the receipt for it. Sir, I don't think you bought the robot. Then why was it here? It was here to steal those. Those gloves were dangerous, and now somebody has them. Who? The same person who wrote this note. The robot left it. 
It has an address on it. Oh no. What? It says that if I don't come to the address, Commissioner Jenkins will die. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's that? It's some kind of signal. No, it's a pet signal. Hello. Uh, Patrick Man. Who are you? I'm Lieutenant, I mean, Commissioner SpongeBob, and I need your help. Former Commissioner Jenkins has been framed. I, I just know it. Well, I have bad news as well. I think Jenkins has also been kidnapped. Could anything else go wrong? Well, actually... Nope, 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 nope. I, I, I don't want to hear it. What are we going to do? I hope I can trust you, Commissioner SpongeBob. I think I know where Jenkins is being held. Really? Great! I'm going to need your help. What can I do? And so I was like, ladies, ladies, there's not enough for me to go around. Ho <laughs> ho So, what'd you do after that? Oh, then I woke up. I, I mean... Um, hello? Patrick man? Well, what do you know? He showed up. I guess I owe you ten bucks. Go ahead. Go get him, Patrick man. Um, hello? Hello, Patrick. You mean Patrick Man. Don't play games with me. I know you're Patrick Star. The waffle cone doesn't hide your face very well. Oh, why did you go through all this trouble to get me here? I mean, you could have just texted me or something. Because we have a shared past, and the stuff to get you here was just a minor part of a much grander plan. Who are you? Well, being that I'm going to blow you up, identities don't really matter. <gasps> I have no idea who you are. Look into my eyes and think harder. Patrick, run! Listen to your dad, boy. You... you were there. I wasn't just there. I was the one who blew up the house. And your dad. Why? Your dad and I were close. He promised me the company, and he even named you after me. Wow, my dad named me after a criminal? Nice job, Dad! But when I started working on these gloves, he turned me away. He thought they were too dangerous. Well, they do have the strength of ten men, so... The last straw came when he kicked me out of the company. I decided to confront him. Get out of my house, sir. At least take off your shoes. They're filthy. And my maid just cleaned the floors. I didn't want it to come to this. Put that away, Patrick. Dude? What's going on? Patrick, can you do a teeny tiny favor? Sure, Dad. Patrick, run! Listen to your dad, boy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How did you survive? I was wearing this armor under my suit. Now, I'm going to get rid of you the same way I got rid of your dad. Except for a much bigger bomb. <laughs> what do you want me, Dad? I'm a nice guy. Just ask my anger management teacher. After I killed your father, I assumed your company would perish. For the last 20 years, I've been relaxing in the Bahamas. At least I was until a waiter there handed me this newspaper. That says that Star Industries is better than it's ever been. It also talks about Patrick Man. I wondered how an idiot like you could have done this. However, I found out that your butler's been handling all the company's work since your father's death. Yup. See, even if you do kill me, it won't matter. Albert will still keep my company running. Oh no, he won't. You're the heir to the stars. If you die, 
Albert won't be allowed to take your company. Your company will be in dismay, and once it is, I'll swoop in and take it. After all, I'm the co-founder. But everyone thinks you're dead. I'll just say I've had amnesia and couldn't remember all this until now. Man, you've thought of everything. But you're not getting away with this. At least, not if I have anything to say about it. Ah. <coughs> so, uh, how's the daughter? Oh, uh, she's good. She's good. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, excuse me? I heard you guys were up to some crime stuff, and I want in. Don't worry, Commissioner Jenkins. We're gonna get you out of here. What? Hmm. Sure. What can you do? Oh, well, I can do this. Well, I'm starting to hear action music, so that must mean that there's about to be a fight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You'll never beat me, Patrick. I've been trained by the world's greatest fighters. Oh yeah? Well, I've been watched Walker, Texas Ranger for two weeks straight, so I think this is a pretty even match. Well, I also have this armor. Not for long. Wait a minute, when did you... Oi! Oh, stupid cord. Why do we even have cords anymore? It's the 21st century. Everything should be wireless. Oh my gosh. Can we take a take a break? Oh, okay. I respect how much energy is in your body. I have you now. Whoops, my bad. Don't worry, I have him now. Hey, we won! You can cage the beast, but only the beast will set himself free. What? I, I don't... What? Did we win? Um... Uh, well, I surrender. Hooray! We won! Batmobile, you gotta help me. It's getting pretty bad in here. Ow. <laughs> Why? Well, that's our signal. Come on, we gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your plan is still pretty vague to me. I'm not a regular villain. I don't just spell out my plans. Okay, but I'm not asking for you to spell it. I'm asking for you to say it. Shut up. When I'm done with you, I'll destroy the rest of this town. You may be stronger than your old man, but you're just as stupid. Am I? Yes, you are. Am I? Um, yeah. Okay, that may be true. But the real question is, am I? What are you doing? Oh, you know, stalling. What? Hiya! Oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. Bomb sensors detected. Countdown beginning. Uh oh, I better get out of here. <laughs> uh. So long, dreaded Patrick. No! Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. Well, I guess that takes care of- It was exactly two hours ago when the fire department got a call about a building exploding. They say the source was an explosion of a BOMB. Also, it was a bomb. So, Commissioner, what happened here? All I can say is that a horrible person was foiled by a hero. What hero? Oh, oh man, that took a while to climb out of. That hero. Patrick Man. Patrick Man? Yeah, way to go, Patrick Man. That guy in a helmet is right. Let's hear it for Patrick Man. 
Excuse me, excuse me, er, uh, pardon me, excuse me. Sir! Albert? I can't believe you're alive. It's good to see you too, Albert. Um, why is that butler hugging Patrick, man? I don't know. So, sir, what do we do now? I don't know, but this is great! Oof. Huh, so apparently that bomb gave me superpowers. Isn't that cool, Albert? Totally, sir. Mr. Jenkins, we're sorry we accused you of selling seaweed. Yeah, the inker and the money mangler just confessed to the whole thing. So, is he the commissioner again? Nope, at least not here. We'll be transferring him to be the commissioner in Starfish City. Do I at least get a pay raise? Don't push your luck, Jenkins. Now, jetpack boots, activate! So, are we gonna talk about the whole you dressing up as a superhero thing, or...? No, no, we are never going to talk about that again. So, this is what we're going to be doing from now on? Yup. Well, look at that. That's my cue with Neptune Swiftness. Away! Oh! Don't worry, I'm okay. I landed on this wimpy kid. Ow! I think this would make a nice new Petmobile. Great, but be careful. The gas pedal is a little touchy. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll just take the Porsche over there. And more stories come in about Patrick Man. Oh please, I could be a better hero than that barnacle head. Whatever you say, Starfish Man. <laughs> Sir, what is that? Oh, it's the dreaded Patrick's helmet. I found it in the rubble. Why do you need that? Well, I thought I could reverse engineer it and make it into my own super suit. So if I ever needed to beat someone with superpowers, I'd be prepared. Oh, please, sir. When is anything like that going to happen? Yeah, I guess you're right. Albert, where's my drinkable sausage? Oh, I think it's in the basement. We have a basement? Wow, this place is huge. Oh, there's the drinkable sausage. Hello, old friend. Uh, I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah, I guess I was. Boss, did you really need to do that? I, I mean, he was already pretty weak. We probably could have just, you know, tossed him in the truck without knocking him out. And Okay, okay, I, I get it. And now, Seaweed City News. Hello, I'm Chuck Chang, and welcome back to Seaweed City News. Now for our latest story. Seaweed City residents still recover after they attack from the creature known as Doodle Bob. All eyes are on the mayor as he addresses the situation. Mayor Gilliam, 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 how do you expect to deal with Doodle Bob if he ever comes back? That's a great question. And, whoa, what's that over there? Whoa, what's he looking at? Should we keep looking in this direction? <laughs> yeah, we have to until we see what he was looking at. Well, Mayor Gilliam might want to search for a solution fast, or he just might be searching for a new job. Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam! Mayor Gilliam, we have a problem! Oh, uh, what are you doing in here? Whoa! You take a bath with your suit on? It relaxes me. Now what do you want, Marcus? Well, sir, everyone in the city wants an answer about this Doodlebob epidemic. If we don't figure this out soon, we could both be fired. Well then, I'll do what I always do when I need to figure something out. 
Ask my deputy mayor to do it for me. That's you. Well, I do have this plan, but it's a little off the books, if you know what I mean. What's the plan? Taking the worst villains in the city and making them into a team. So you want to have criminals fight criminals? That's the best idea I've ever heard! So, these are the ones you want to recruit? Yep. Let's see here. The Inker, great accuracy, but his ink tastes bad. Okay. Plinktron, a robot slash supercomputer. That could be useful during missions. Escargo, the smartest snail alive. And the rodent, who's just really wild. As you see, sir, I've done my research. These criminals are as worse as they can get. Oh, wait, there's one more. Who's Maniac Madeline? Wait, that file's not supposed to be in there? <sighs> Ow. Well, she sounds good to me. Add her to the squad. Now let's get them together. Well, sir, we actually can't do that unless there's a crisis. <laughs> Hello, Seaweed City. If you look behind me, you can see I have a big old bomb. This bomb is big enough to take out both Starfish City and Seaweed City. And I'm going to detonate it in five hours if the city doesn't fork over ten billion dollars. <laughs> huh. Marcus, assemble the Suicide Squad. Okay, w w wait, what? What did you just call them? Get it? Because sushi is like dead fish and we're sending them on a suicide mission? Okay, but why don't we just call them the Suicide Squad- Marcus, no! I thought I taught you better about copyright. Hey, why is there a bug on my head? Uh, what's going on? Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Ooh, that felt good. Can you do it again? Um, I guess I don't see why not. No, don't do it again. Sorry, my bad. Huh? The mayor? I'll let you explain, Marcus. Alright, listen up, you scum. You do realize we all know how to kill people, right? <laughs> what I meant to say was, how's everybody doing? Hey, do I know you from somewhere? Nope, never seen you before in my life. Anyway, we have placed tiny shocker trackers in your neck. They let us know where you are at all times, and if you do something we don't like, they shock you and put you in a coma for nine months. Oh please, you're probably just messing with us. They're probably not even harmful. Oh yeah? Well watch this! Why did you have to ask? <laughs> Wait, was he even supposed to be here? I'm pretty sure I've seen you before. Again, I have no idea who you are. Anyway, as a team, you will complete this mission. Now, here's your mission. Your pal, the Giggler, has a bomb that could destroy both Starfish City and Seaweed City. He's going to detonate it in five hours. Your job is to find the Giggler and defuse the bomb before that happens. I know who you are. You're the guy who was totally obsessed with me to the point where I finally had to enroll myself into a mental hospital just to get away from you. Really? I am not proud of it. Is there anything else we should know? Your gear will be given to you once you leave the prison. And we don't really have the green light to do any of this, which means Commissioner Squarepants is going to be here in about 10 seconds to stop you from leaving. So I'd run away now. Hey, who let all the criminals out of their cells? Run for it! Alright, word on the street says that two guys here know where Giggler is. Meow. You're right, Escargo. Let's go. And then I said, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Of course you don't. Well, 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 if it isn't Blind Eye Terry and the other guy. You think people will ever call me by my first name? To be honest, I don't even know it. Listen, word on the street says that you know where Giggler is. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Don't worry, I'll flatter it out of his friend. Hey, handsome. Bub, is that you? What? No! 
Hey, we don't have any money. Then I'm not telling you anything. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. What? Look, you see my squirrel friend over there? Well, she's been incarcerated for months. And she's just aching to slice her claws through something. And that something might just be you. Okay, the last place I saw him was at Kelp Avenue at that old factory. Thanks. Remember, if you're lying to me, I'm going to shoot permanent ink all over that shirt of yours. For the last time! I'm a girl! You just keep telling yourself that, Bob. Madeline! <sighs> Coming! Bye, Bob! Huh, looks kind of spooky in there. So, who wants to go in first? There's no way I'm going in there. It looks like a graveyard for robots. And I'm a robot! I always thought you were some sort of cyborg. That doesn't even make any sense. Then I'd have to call myself Plink Borg, and that just sounds stupid. Listen, one of us has to go in to make sure it's clear. Now who's it gonna be? Meow! 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 Okay, it's clear. Now let's see if the giggler is actually here. Eliminate intruders. Well, I don't see anything over here. Ah! Plankton, what's the matter? I don't know. It's like someone hacked my software. Weapons out, everyone. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Oh, well, that was easy. Ugh. 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 Marcus, Marcus, are you there? Marcus here. Marcus, Plankton's gone crazy. You need to shock him. Okay. <laughs> Proceeding attack mode. Wait for it. You're right, Escargo. The robots came on when we came in, which means this was a planned ambush. Well, now what? We go pay another visit to Blind Eye Terry and the other guy. Listen, I substituted the letter C with the word S E E C. Oh, I still don't get it. And the other guy. Huh? <laughs> I told you if you were lying, I'd shoot ink at you. Now, we got ambushed at the factory, so where is the giggler? Oh, well if you're looking for the giggler, he's actually in the back room. He told us that if anyone asked where he was, we'd have to tell him that he was at that factory. Really? Why didn't you just tell me this all before? Oh, I was too busy chatting up with Bob. <laughs> Hey, who's interrupting my evil laugh? Inker? Gangler! Patrick Man! Wait, Patrick Man? When did you get here? Oh, I got here like five minutes ago. Someone gave me an anonymous tip that the Gangler was here. You're welcome. Inker, how are you even here? I thought you were in jail. Long story short, there's a shocker bomb in our heads, and if we don't stop you, it will shock us and put us in a coma for nine months. But, Inker, think about it. If you let me detonate this bomb, we'll finally be rid of Patrick Man and this city. When you wake up from that coma, we'll be feared rulers. That does sound pretty good. Yes. Wait, who are you? Inker, you better stop him right now. I don't think so, Marcus. This city deserves to be remodeled into rubble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so it appears that our team of backstabbing criminals have betrayed us. Worst idea ever. Time to set the bomb to the three minute countdown. Yes. Wait, three minutes? That wouldn't have given you enough time to come back for us at the jail. Well, 
Um... You didn't plan on coming back for us, did you? Grrr. Wait, Inker, when you think about it... Ugh. Hey, the criminals are on our side again. Best idea ever! Ugh. Oh no, I don't know how to defuse this bomb! Don't worry, Patrick man, leave that to us. East Cargo? Meow. Well, that was easy. So, what was that about a shocker bomb in your head? Oh yeah, weird story. The mayor and his deputy put these bobs in our head and- <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, what happened? Has it been nine months already? Uh, more like an hour. But you said those bombs would put us in a coma for nine months. Oh, we just said that so you take them more serious. They really only put you asleep for about an hour. So that's it? We save the day and then get thrown back into prison? Yep. Oh, but we left you all a little gift. Gift? What kind of gift would- <gasps> A clarinet! No way! New software! Ooh, a dresser full of antiques that I can destroy. Ooh, what kind of gift do I get? This picture of me. <whistles> oh, what else could I have? Or you could have a year's supply of free coffee, but I don't know why you'd want- I'll take that. Oh, okay. Hey, I was a part of the team for like 30 whole seconds. What do I get? You want the stellar bill I found in the urinal? Of course. We now go live to a press conference called by Mayor Gilliam. Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam, do you actually have a plan to stop any threat that comes our way? Yes, my plan is to assemble a team. In fact, the members of this team are highly trained people and will be able to solve any disaster we have in the future, no matter how terrible. Also, this team stopped the recent bomb threat made by the Giggler. What's this team's name? The name of this team is... Well, that's a stupid name. Shut up! Ow. Ow. Ow, oh, right in the leg. Ah. I should have just left you here. Oh, come on. We needed money for our little project, and I thought making a bomb threat would be the easiest way. Don't worry about the money, I've got that covered. Now it's time to pay a visit to Doodle Tech. Oh, uh, Starcon, can you believe it, Albert? An entire convention dedicated to me. Actually, sir, I think it's for all the members of the League of Stars. Uh, tomato potato. I don't think you said that right. Hey look, fans! Yeah, issue one was good, but the quality was terrible. Yeah, I know. Hello, how would you like to get a picture with Patrick Man? Um, you're not Patrick Man. Yes, I am. Since when did Patrick Man wear a bib? It's supposed to be a cape. Sure it is. Listen, if you want to meet the real Patrick Man, he's over there. La 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 la. With Neptune's swiftness, away! <laughs> but that's not me! And what is he doing? I believe he's mocking you, sir. He's ruining my good name! Well, I wouldn't say that. Oh, I'm Patrick Man, and I'm a barnacle head! Never mind, he's totally ruining your name. I'm gonna go over there and give him a piece of my mind. Whoops! <laughs> and why does he keep falling? I never do that! Now I'm gonna go over there- oh! Stupid skateboard. Hey you, huh? Stop what you're doing. What do you mean? Stop pretending to be me. But I'm Patrick Man. Oh yeah? Well let's see how you do in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hey ya! Huh? How did you dodge me? Because I'm Patrick Man and I have incredible reflexes. He's right, Patrick Man does have good reflexes. Oh yeah? Well only the real Patrick Man could do a pit punch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dang it, Albert, did you put deodorant on me while I was sleeping again? I'm sorry, but you smelled really bad. Oh, come on, Albert. Ha 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 ha. Well, can you do the pit punch? Um, no, because a criminal put deodorant on me as well. I didn't want it to come to this, but you left me no choice. 
Hey, Inker, it's Patrick, man. Just wanted to call you and say that you're my weakest villain and a sorry excuse for an octopus. Okay, bye. Why did you do that? Wait for it. <laughs> Patrick, man. Inker! How dare you call me a sorry excuse for an octopus. The only people who can call me that are my mom, my dad, my cousin Lenny, and occasionally that guy at the hot dog stand. But other than them, no one can call me that. Huh, look everyone, he came over to me, and not that imposter over there. That makes sense, since Patrick Man's villains would know him best. Oh yeah, well, watch this. Hey, Inker. Huh? Prepare to meet justice. <coughs> huh, huh, I have fast reflexes, and uh. Huh, that was my boomerang ink. <gasps> the real Patrick Man would have known that was boomerang ink. I would have, which means that the other guy's the real Patrick Man. Yes, finally. So who wants a picture? Not so fast, Patrick Man. You still called me a sorry excuse for an octopus. And just for that, I'm gonna make sure that you never, ever, ever feel happiness again. I'm going to... Use two free all-day passes for everything at the convention. Wait, really? Hey, Money Mangler, I got free all-day passes! Yay! Ow, ow, my head! Whoa, what happened to your voice? Huh? Oh, oh, I mean, I'm Patrick, man. Oh, forget it. So why did you impersonate me? The truth is, I'm just a huge fan. I made this costume for the convention, but when I got here, some people mistook me for you, and I just kind of went with it. They also seemed to like it when I poked fun at you, so I did that too. Okay, but next time, just tell the truth. Okay. Now, how would you like to spend the day with the real Patrick, man? Really? But what about that old dude you were with? Oh, I hate spending time with Albert at these conventions. All he wants to do is buy useless knickknacks. So you're telling me that if I buy one cone, I can get the second cone 15% off? Yep. Well, in that case, I'll take five. I still can't believe you just let Patrick Man off the hook. Hey, I wasn't going to just turn down two free all-day passes. <laughs> Remind me to never get starfish-flavored ice cream again. Well, if I see him, I'm gonna give him the old one-two. Uh-huh. Hey, look over there! It's Patrick Man! Wait, Money Mangler, that isn't- Eat my money, Patrick Man! Oh. Uh... I was trying to say that isn't Patrick Man. Ooh. We should probably get out of here. Alright, welcome to the very first ever Evil Villains Against Patrick Man tryouts. Now since we are all the founding members of EVAP, I thought we should be the ones picking the replacement for Giggler. Wait, wasn't the dreaded Patrick a founding member? Yeah, but he kinda blew up, so... Actually, according to the police records, his body was never found. So, he might be alive. Exactly. Everyone just stop. Fine. Now can we please just start this already? Wait! What? Why does your clipboard have a stethoscope on it? Because I stole it from the doctor who lived here. Oh, so that's who the guy tied up in the attic is. Go to medical school, they said. It won't be a mistake, they said. Huh, <laughs> that's a lot, Dad. Now let's get started. Okay, Maniac Madeline, why do you think you should be the newest member of EVAP? Well, I'm skilled at combat, and we've teamed up already before, so, yeah. Hmm, interesting point. You know, I don't know why they call you Maniac. You seem pretty calm to me. Yeah, I don't know why either. Excuse me, but I have a package for a Miss Madeline. I hate when people mispronounce my name! Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man, that's excessive, even for me. Hmm, I'll just put her down as a maybe. So your name is... Mr. Muscles. Because I have a lot of muscles? Yeah, we got it. But I feel like there are too many villains here with the letter M used twice. You know, Maniac Madeline, Money Mangler. 
I just don't think there's room for another villain with two M's in his name. Oh, well, what about the claw? Ugh, somehow that's worse. Next! But I- So it says here that your name is Average Joe? Yep. Well, what crimes have you committed? Well, I commit smaller crimes, you know, like borrowing my neighbor's scissors and never giving them back to him. Or when I get a new mattress, I just rip the tag off, even though it says not to. Blammo, Average Joe. Also, my catchphrase is, Blammo, Average Joe. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we have catchphrases? We don't need catchphrases. Catchphrases are stupid and meaningless. Hey, look, it's Average Joe. The guy with the catchphrase? Yeah, yeah, the guy that goes, Blammo, Average Joe. See? Huh. Next. Do or die, stay alive so divine. Um. Huh. I told him he was auditioning for the voice. Oh. I can think like Patrick Man, and I can act like Patrick Man. Yeah, like we need another Patrick Man running around. Next! Oh, come on! Pow! Wham! Uh... So, does the gun actually do something? I'm oh, sorry this never happens, so we just... Get. Out. I give up. We're never gonna find a replacement for Giggler. Oh, come on. You're giving up that soon? 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 Money Mangler, we've gone through at least 200 people and none of them are good enough. Actually, to be more precise, we're at audition number 204. Now be quiet, you rusty piece of scrap metal. How dare you call me that? Everyone, everyone, calm down. We'll find someone. Money Mangler, the next candidate to try out is just a pile of goo. No offense. Aww. Okay, instead of going on, let's look at our candidates. Maybe one of them was good. Ah, <sighs> fine. The only candidate that really stuck out was Madeline. Well then, let's add her. All in favor, say aye. 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 I'll take that as an aye. Someone call Madeline and give her the good news. Sorry, boys, but Candyman and I are going to make our own villain team. Ride, Candyman! Yeah! I have no idea how to drive a motorcycle. Wait, what? You know, Giggler might have tried to destroy us all, but he was still our friend. Yeah, and he was a pretty great member of EVAP. Maybe we should let him join again. We should find Giggler! Yeah! Yeah! Let's find Giggler! Yeah! Yeah! Wait, does anyone know where the Giggler actually is? Well, no, but it won't be that hard to find him. Right, guys? Right? Yeah. 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 Soon. All clear. Hello, old friend. Uh, I thought you were dead. Oh yeah, I guess I was. Yeah. 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 Come on, row faster. Why do we always have to use rowboats when we go out here? We could have just taken my parents' motorboat. Motorboats make too much noise. We have to be quiet. Stealthy, and most importantly, undetected.
Hi, what are you guys doing out here in a rowboat? Well, maybe they're just not too bright. Would you get out of here? Hi, you can't tell us what to do. Oh! Oh no, Jimmy! Okay, okay, we're leaving, we're leaving! Yeah, we're pretty stealthy, alright. Just row. Fine, but only if you tell me something. What? I've been working with you for months now, and you still haven't told me why you're doing all this. I think I deserve a little information, if we're gonna do this together. Okay, but for you to understand, I'll have to start from the beginning. Uh, no, you don't have to start that far back. It was two years ago. Uh, never mind. I somehow survived my explosion, but I was soon captured by my old business partner, Harold Star. Oh, what's going on? Huh? Oh. What? What's this? Where am I? You're in my house now, Patrick. Or should I call you Dreaded Patrick? Harold. Yes. Now it's time for us to- Whoa! Uh, um, that wasn't supposed to happen. No. No. Uh, electric chair. Get up! No! Stop it! Yeah! That's it! I'm just gonna keep it right here. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, oh, ah, oh, where was I? All right, now you're probably wondering how I'm still alive. Let me guess, you were wearing armor under your suit like me. Oh, but you're probably wondering why I didn't tell anyone. Let me guess. No, no, no more guessing. Just let me tell my story. Fine, go on. Star Industries was going down fast, Patrick. Our paper company just wasn't selling paper anymore. I was letting go people left and right, including you. I figured that I had two choices. I could stay alive and watch my company fall, or I could stay dead, run away with some of my fortune, leave the rest to my son, and start my brand new company from the ground up. New company? Behold, my new company, Doodle Tech. The lightning cost an extra 15 grand, but it was money well spent. It looks like a waste of money to me. It won't after you watch this video. Hey there, it looks like you've been in an accident. Yeah, I was chopping wood and accidentally cut off my arm. Well, have no fear. Doodle Tech can help you. Really? It's quite simple. All you need to do is mail Doodle Tech some of your DNA. Once Doodle Tech receives the DNA, they'll inject it into their printer. The printer will print out a simple doodle of yourself. After painting the needed part, they'll cut it out, and after a little paper machine, voila, it's perfect again. Wow, it's just like new. Thanks, Doodle Tech. Doodle Tech, we're here to help. If you cut off your arm, or body part, or really anything connected to your body. Doodle Tech. Great video, huh? It looked like it was made by some kid in his parents' basement. You see, I finally found a way to use that unwanted paper. However, I need your help. Why? Well, you see, the doodles are coming out a little bit too alive. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, 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 Shoot Actually, I think it's a guy. Just shoot it! I'm not helping. But think about it. We could be business partners again. Why would I want to be a business partner with you again? Last time we had a company together, you wasted all our money on hair care products. Hey, it takes a lot to get this hair to look fabulous. We had to fire over 5,000 people because of it. Okay, okay, I get it. Now are you gonna help me or not? No. Well, clearly you haven't looked at yourself lately. Did you really think you came out of that bomb unscathed? We did an x-ray on your body. Your legs are completely shattered. 
If you do this for me, we'll fix your legs and make them better than before. Oh, fine. Give me two weeks. Hooray, the team's back together! Don't call us a team. Sergeant, let off the fireworks. Actually, sir, it's raining outside right now. Well, I don't know, then just let them off inside. Yes, sir. All right, release the fireworks inside. You got it, Sergeant. Let off those fireworks. <laughs> oh my gosh, fireworks are everywhere! Oh my God. Uh, yes, that wasn't the best idea. <sighs> Today's a good day. I spent the next two weeks working until I was finally finished. All right, DP. It's been two weeks. Show me what you got. Don't call me DP. Whatever you say, Pat Pat. Uh, activate the 3D printer and insert the DNA. Inserting DNA. Everything's all good down here. Wow, this is gonna save us loads of time on paper machine. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, it was probably just the machine cooling down. Red alert! Red alert! We have a situation! What's the problem? A doodle got loose, and it's gonna... Hello? Hello? Alright, men, move out. Hey, what's going on? Oh no, the machine is creating another one of these. I've got to deactivate it. Everyone, everyone, there are two doodles loose. And beware, they can turn you into paper. Wait, what was that last part? <laughs> well, at least I had them all sign a waiver. Hiya! Take that, you doodle! Sir, the regular printer just turned on. It's printing out more doodles. Well, the only place to activate the printer is up here. Um, DP? I told you not to call me that. Well, that's not good. I told you guys it was a bad idea to put a self-destruct button right there, but no, nobody listens to all- You're walking? Did you really think I'd help you? It only took me a week to make the 3D printer. I spent the rest of the time fixing my legs. Well, joke's on you. I had a feeling you might betray me, so I had my scientists work on a device that could temporarily control these monsters. Um, sir, you know that device you wanted us to work on? Yeah. Bob kind of spilled his grape juice on it, Sorry. so it's gonna be a bit before we get it to work again. So... Ah! <coughs> uh, goodbye, Harold. Wait, no, DP, I can give you a lifetime supply of hair care products. I'm good. No, 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 no! Ah! Finally, after all these years, I've managed to... Uh, Doodle, would you be quiet? I'm trying to give a big speech here. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now would you please shut your... Ah! 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 I gotta get out of here. Ha! Looks like I'm too fast for you. Um, Lieutenant? No, no, I'm bragging. Where was I? Oh yeah! Looks like I'm too. Oh. I was trying to tell you that that pipe was about to fall down. Hey, he owed me ten bucks. You're gonna pay for that. Well, now that's just not fair. <laughs> we got the pencil to work. Great. How does it work? Well, you just turn it on and then you say a command, like, Stop, doodles! 
in a barrel wait whoa wait are you still drinking that grape juice hey i don't tell you how to live your life man does anyone else hear the self-destruct alarm whoa oh, grape whoa. Juice. whoa whoa we gotta get out of here but there's still a doodle in there don't worry i'm sure the building will take care of that now come on let's go fine let's get out of here All right, everyone get to the boat. Yeah, now to climb on board. Uh-oh. So how long do we have before this place blows? That's when I went to find you, so we could finish what I started on that island. So you're doing all this because some guy called you DP? What? No! That's all you got out of this story? To be honest, I didn't pay attention the whole time. I got a little bored towards the middle. Also, how did you know about the parts that you weren't there for? Huh, I told you the story. Now row. Actually, since you were talking so long, we ended up just drifting here. Well then, time to get started. Oh, my head hurts so much. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Frank. Oh, today was such a terrible day. At least nothing else bad can happen to me. I spoke too soon. What are you doing? I got intel that says that you might have seen the giggler. Now where is he? Are you talking about that sponge and robot guy we saw in the ocean earlier? Yeah, which way were they heading? They were heading towards this island. Albert, get over here now with the pet boat. I think I know where the giggler is. I don't care if Wheel of Fortune is on. Just get over here right now. Thank you. Huh. Butlers, am I right? By the way, your hand kind of smells like ham. Yeah, I get that a lot. Oh man, 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 oh come on, oh come on, come on, no, 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 come on, come on. Huh, 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 whoa, criminals are really fast and in very good shape, apparently. Huh, what do you want, Patrick, man? Giggler escaped from jail, and there's word on the street you might have some info on where he is. Huh, who told you that? Um, I just said, it was the words on the street. Didn't you hear me? Okay, okay, I'll tell you what you want to know. The Giggler is... Quick, blind eye Terry, right now! Oh, why? Did I get him? No! Listen, I'll tell you what you want to know, but you have to arrest Terry. I need at least a week away from that guy. Deal! I have a friend named Jimmy. He's a clam fisherman. Apparently he saw the Giggler. He can steer you in the right direction. Thanks! Hey, what about Terry? Oh, right! Terry! There should be a stairwell on your left! Go down it and meet me down here so I can arrest you! Okie dokie! Wait, Terry, no, I'm at your other ah! left! Oh. Hey, you broke my fall. I hate you so much. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Huh. Hurry it up, Giggler. There, it's all done. It looks just like the original. Time to turn it on. Alright, the doodles are all packed up. Good. 
Just in time. You know what to do next. 99 bottles of soda on the wall, 99 bottles of soda. Take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of soda on the wall. 72 bottles of soda on the wall, 72 bottles of soda. Take one down, pass it around, 72 bottles of soda on the wall. 46 bottles of soda on the wall, 46 bottles of soda. Take one down, pass it around, 46 bottles of soda on the wall. So maybe you should learn to count before you start singing that song. Oh, so are you sure we're going in the right direction? Yup, Jimmy said this was the way Giggler was heading. Here's a random question, but why is the Pat Boat a pirate ship? Because I wanted the Pat Boat to be awesome. And what's more awesome than a pirate ship that used to be a food truck? But it's disgusting. I think an urchin just ran by my face. Yeah, probably. The previous owner never cleaned this. But didn't you say this used to be a food truck? Yeah. Oh, how revolting. Albert, land ho! What? Ah! Huh! Time to bring the giggler in. Right, Albert? Now, where is he? Actually, where are we? Doodle Tech? What's that? On a side note, do you hear a boat? We made it! Hooray! I hate the sea. Now all we need to do is find Patrick Man? Actually, we're looking for Patrick Man. What are you doing here? Gasp! It's all my nemesis! What are you all doing here? Wouldn't you like to know? Hey guys, I fell asleep. Did you find the giggler yet? <sighs> I knew we shouldn't have brought other guy. You guys are looking for the giggler too? How did you find out he was out here? The other guy's friend, Jimmy, told us. And then he let you borrow his boat? Uh, yeah, sure. Borrow. Well, you're all under arrest. Ha! <laughs> you can't arrest us. We haven't done anything wrong. What are you talking about? Last week you robbed over 30 lemonade stands. Oh, right. It probably wasn't our best heist, either. We only made about a dollar twenty-five out of that. Wait, did you guys hear that? Well, 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 well. Oh man, four wells. He must mean business. Hey, Giggler, it's Evap. We've come to bring you back. Why would I go back with you, Barnacle Buffoons? I have a new partner now. He's so much better than you. He's the one who gave me these cool gadgets. Oh no, take cover! <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to need a team up to defeat this threat. Again? I feel like we're always teaming up for the greater good. Maybe that's because you're all secretly good inside. No, last week I pushed an old woman into oncoming traffic. Oh, whoa. Uh, anyway, I have the perfect plan. First, Escargo causes a diversion. Then, Planktron hacks the weapons. And finally, the rodent... Wait, where's the rodent? Hey, well, that's one way to do it. Wait, look! Do I have to? Ow, 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 ow. That isn't the real Giggler, it's just a robot. Then where's the real Giggler? My best bet is that he's back in Seaweed City. Quick, Albert, to the pet boat. I've got bad news, sir. What? Evap stole the pet boat. What? Thanks for the pirate ship, Patrick, man. Ha ha ha. Yep, still seasick. Well, at least they left us their boat. <laughs> this isn't good. Be free, my doodle army. Destroy this pathetic city. Hello, sir. What would you like? Hmm, I'll have the Run for Your Lives special. Ah, good choice.
Run for your lives! On second thought, I'll have the panic burger. Ah, good. <laughs> so, are you gonna make my burger? <laughs> ah! What are we going to do now, Albert? I know, I'll radio Commissioner Squarepants. Commissioner Squarepants speaking. Commissioner! Hey, Patrick, man, I can't really talk now. The Coast Guard is out sick, and I'm supposed to keep this channel clear. So you're on the sea? Great, because Evap just stole the pet boat, and they're heading your way. Now, it might be hard to spot them, but if you look really closely, you could probably- Are they the ones in the old pirate ship? Oh no, Commissioner Squarepants! Quick, blow on the sail! <laughs> We're trying, it's not working! Why are the two people wearing helmets blowing? Uh, of course. Well, at least I'm still away from blind-eyed terror. Wait, I'd recognize that body odor anywhere. Other guy, is that you? Um, no, I'm Mrs. Buttered uh, Waffles. Mrs. Buttered uh, Waffles? My fourth grade Spanish teacher? What are you doing here? Well, oh, forget this. Okay, Commissioner Squarepants has that covered. Now to find a way off this island. Hmm... What if we build a new boat? Of course, with all this high-tech stuff, we can make the greatest boat in the history of boats! Now let's get building! 99 bottles of soda on the wall. Don't start. <laughs> Wait, why are we afraid of these things? They're just thin pieces of paper! With our combined strengths, we could easily overcome them! Who's with me? Yeah! Not so fast! Huh? It's the League of Stars! Yay! Batman, take out the left side! Huh! Huh! Armored Star, take out the right side! Okay, activating Human Boulder! Yeah, Viva Revolution! Yeah, everyone listen to the kid! Fight back! Hiya! Bam! Wow! Yes, eat my lead, you pieces of paper! <laughs> Remind me to keep an eye on that guy. Oh, dreaded Patrick, the League of Stars just showed up. Who cares? What about when Patrick Man shows up? He won't. Why? Because I've hired someone to stop that from happening. Okay, but what about sailor shanties? Like, what can we do with a something sailor? What can we do with a something sailor? What can we do with a, you know? No. I know, how about we play I Spy? I Spy with my oval eyes, something blue. Let me guess, blue? Actually, I was gonna say black. What out here could possibly be black? Well, that. <laughs> Quick, abandon ship! Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Don't you mean who? Who are you? I am the evil Dr. Deadshark. I've been hired to kill you two. So you are Shark who's dead, but also alive? How does that work? Well, <laughs> Did someone call for a rescue? Actually, no. But thanks for coming. How'd you find us? Oh, I just tracked your walkie-talkie. That's fantastic. But shouldn't we all get to Seaweed City as fast as we can? Oh, please. How bad could it be? Oh, what do you know? It's perfectly fine. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I believe you're looking at a billboard. <laughs> How? I was only gone for 12 minutes! Whoa, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We need to get to the whole stores and see if we can locate Diggler. But how are we gonna get past all these doodles? Wait, I have an idea! To the whole stores! Do What just happened? Whoa! I can't believe that old transition thing worked! I got that idea from the show from the 60s. Um, sir, it transitioned my head backwards. Or actually, your clothes are just on backwards. Who oh, thank Neptune. Now let's see if any of the security cameras picked up the giggler. Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> there he is. He's walking into that building. I know that building. It's the one abandoned on Sea Kelp Avenue. Then that's where we need to go. And transition! Well, I guess that was just a one-time thing. To the Patmobile! Uh, oh, okay. I can't I think I'm like well, so. uh, To the bus! Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam, Mayor Gilliam! We have a situation. Marcus, assemble the Sushi Side Squad. You got it, sir. Attention, guys. It's time to assemble the Sushi Side Squad. All right, sir. Shocker bombs have been inserted. And so that's when my mom told me to clean my room, but I was like, no mom. So that's how I became a criminal. What about you? Hey God, my friend would love to join your little uh, sushi squad thing. He does know that that means we have to stick these extremely dangerous shocker bombs into his head, right? Is he sure? Ooh, other guy, I have an idea. We can make friendship braces later. Yep. There you have it was in the can. <laughs> it's locked. Don't worry, I got this. Now where's the giggler? Huh? Doodle Bob? Patrick, you made it. Who was that? And why did he just call you Patrick? Um, it's a nickname. People call me that sometimes. Oh. The robotic voice kind of sounds like... Hello, Patrick. No, it can't be. Listen to your dad, boy. Don't play games with me. I know you're Patrick Star. Your company will be in dismay. I'll swoop in and take it. The Dreary Perry. Yes. Wait, what? What did you just call me? What's your name, right? No, I'm the dreaded Patrick. You are named after me. Are you sure? Freeze! Uh-uh-uh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Huh, <sighs> hello, Giggler. It's like the old saying goes. If at first you don't succeed, try again, but at a bigger scale. I don't believe that's part of the saying. Oh, joke's on you. I had a metal plate put in my head a month ago. Now nothing hurts me. Grubbins. Oh. Albert, are you okay? I can't wait to ride the candy machine to the bubble lava snip snip snap to do. Great, it's perfectly normal. So, what are you up to, dreaded Patrick? Why did you create this doodle army? It all started back on the island. That should keep him asleep for a while. Now where's the paper doodle? Here. Start copying it, and once you're done, destroy the machine. We can't have Patrick Man stumbling upon it. Okay, but why don't we make more 3D doodle bobs? He's too unstable. We could have maybe controlled more of them had you not gotten the pencil destroyed. The pencil, the one Giggler used to control Doodlebob the first time. You gave that to him? He was supposed to warm it up, not get it destroyed. But how are you controlling them now? Let's just say it's a special gift. Now prepare to watch your city turn into paper, thanks to my Doodlebomb. That's not gonna happen. Come on, Albert, let's get him. I'm very happy to be sad at the kangaroo food. Or I'll just get him, I guess. Looks like you got your armor upgraded. <laughs> well, uh, not the face. Oh. 
Ooh, that looks fun. I guess we should follow them. I'd rather not. Huh. Uh, yeah. huh. Ha, I finally got you, Giggler. Who did ah, you ah, Albert, no, get off, Albert, ow, ow, g -g -g Albert, stop, stop, Albert, stop, uh, uh, hey, where's my gun? Over here. Ugh, what happened? Why am I not dining with the Queen of England? You're tough, Giggler. I know. But sadly, I know your weakness. Wait, you don't mean... I know you can't resist a good joke. No, please don't! So, Giggler, why did the librarian get kicked off the plane? Because it was overbooked. No, that wasn't funny. <laughs> overbooked! <laughs> Who did you know that? We're cousins. I know a lot more about him than I want to know. <laughs> Look at you, weak. I can't believe I wasted a two-year plan on you. Hey, you'd be this way too if you hadn't eaten in an hour. Oh, Patrick, don't you just love the view from this building? You can see the whole city, and in minutes, it'll be nothing but paper. No! Yes, Doodle Bob is completely unstable. The machine he's hooked to will push him to his limits until... Boom. Turning everyone into doodles. What could you gain from all this? Well, I'll finally take over your paper company Star Industries and become rich because of all this soon-to-be-free paper. Sure, the building will be destroyed, but that means I'll be able to recreate it in my image. You can't! My dad left that company to me! Patrick, your dad was a liar! I don't believe you, you lying liar who lies! Then ask him yourself. Oh wait, you can't, because he's a doodle. <gasps> First, how did I not notice that? And second, Dad? I found him on Doodle Island. Poor fool. He got in over his head. And well, this happened to him. Whoop, time to end this. What's that? A little weapon I made out of Doodlebob's arm. I want to say it's been fun, Patrick, but if anything, it's been quite frustrating. It's over, dreaded Patrick. I'm here too, sir. It's just I can't climb because of my bad back. And hip. And ribs. And... I get the point, Albert. Ugh. Oh. Oh. On second thought, Climbing would have hurt less! Commissioner Albert! Seriously? That was your backup? No, we're his backup! No, where have you guys been? Well, we had to fight Doodles! Don't forget about us! Alright, it's the bad guy team that does good stuff but is still bad! We're called the Suicide Squad. I'm here as well. Oh, Batman, I didn't realize you were coming. Well, I already made an appearance in this series, so why not? Well, if I knew, I wouldn't have invited him. Who? Me. Daredevil. Marvel's less cool and less grim version of me. Less grim? Have you even seen my series? No, I don't like watching garbage. That is it! The foot is down, the foot is coming down! Guys, 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 can we please get back to my story? Fine. Fine. Uh, Patrick man, how do you know Daredevil? Oh, we're pen pals. You see, dreaded Patrick, I have the one thing you don't have. Friends. We're not friends, I'm being forced to do this. Oh, please, who needs friends when you have an army? Oh, boy. Um, if you die, can I have your money? No, oh, Patrick, prepare to face your... Hey. You, you're backwards. Oh, oh sorry. Now where was I? Alright, attack! <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, get off, get off! Now to find that doodle gun. Oh, I think I landed on this broom. We have to get back up there. Um, Commissioner? What? Oh. <laughs> How much damage can you do with that broom? Um, none. This only cleans. Then let's clean up this mess! We're going to die, aren't we? What's up? Commissioner Jenkins, why aren't you in Starfish City? 
I may not be Seaweed City's commissioner anymore, but that doesn't mean this isn't still my city. Whoa, that was beautiful. Now let's rip these doodles limb from limb. That was less beautiful. Uh, it's no use. Let us keep eating my ink. Just wait. I'm almost charged. Charged to do what? To do this. Wow. Huh. 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 So, new software? Yep. Yeah. There it is. Uh, huh? Blind Eye Terry, look out! Okay, uh, can someone put me in the general direction of the doodles? Yeah. No way. You're blind too? Tell me. You became blind. Do all of your other senses get stronger? Allowing you to see even better than before? No, not really. Oh, but I can sneeze with my eyes open now. Uh, uh, finally, no I can go stop. Uh, oh, come on, where did he come from? It's over. You're right. It is over. Thanks for the help. Ow, paper cut, paper cut, ow, ow, mm, is a blade, ow, ow. Wow, Pastor Command's villains are really wimpy. Oh, keep villains are better. What are you talking about? I have the best villains in the DC franchise! Oh, Batman, it's me, Calendar Man. I've tracked you down here to tell you my diabolical plan of erasing February 29 from existence. <laughs> Owie. Ow. <sighs> Finally. No. <laughs> Hello, Patrick Man. Giggler, shoot him. Oh, I will. Right after I shoot you. What? If anyone is going to get credit for destroying this city, it's going to be me. <laughs> what just happened? I started thinking of that joke again. <laughs> Overbooked. <laughs> huh. No, stop hiding behind that mask and show your face already. No, <laughs> stop! <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, I see why you didn't want me to take off your mask. You're having a very bad hair day today. You idiot. I'm a doodle. Oh, my guppies. What happened to you? Your father happened to me. So that's how you're able to control the doodle army. You're one of them. It doesn't matter what I am. You won't be able to defeat me. I think I will. Hit punch. Hit what? Oh, come on! Ah! Now to go stop that doodle bomb with Neptune swiftness away! <laughs> Guys, you have to get out of here while I. Whoa, what happened here? Justice happened. Anyway, you guys have to get out of here. I need to defuse the doodle bomb. Good go luck, get him, sir. Patrick Man! If I disconnect doodle bomb, that should stop the machine. Time for a pit punch. No! Uh, 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 nice try, but I'm going to stop this bomb. Pit punch! Pit punch! A uh, pit punch? Why isn't this working? Because, because I, I just, just sprayed, sprayed you with this. Guess my only weakness. Spray on deodorant. Oh no, what am I going to do? You're, You're not, not going, going to, to win. win. This, this doodle, doodle bomb, bomb is going, going to go off. off. You're right. What? But the blast won't be as big as you want it to be. Huh? Huh? Wait, no! no. Boom. Ah, <laughs> uh, what happened? Huh? Uh, hi? Huh? What is everyone looking at? Oh... Albert, what happened? Why can't I feel my legs? Well, um, it's kinda hard to explain. Oh, 
Well, this is bad. So, what's happened? We used the dreaded Patrick and myself to block the doodle bomb. Looks like I still got affected, though. Everyone, before I turn into paper, I have some things to say. Inker, you're really not that threatening of a villain. What? <laughs> Same to you, money mangler. What? Rodent, I never really liked your name. Isco Go, I know a lot of people might not notice, but you're kind of messed up in the head. Meow. And Calendar Guy, I have no idea who you are. Ah, uh, nobody does. Come on, Kite Man, let's get out of here. Oh, and Giggler? <laughs> he probably already knows. Plinktron, remember when you got hit by that car which forced the doctors to replace their body parts with robot parts? Yeah. Well, I was the one driving the car. Sorry about that. What? I'm going to- Hold that thought, I have to get through this before I turn into a doodle. Starfish man, I'm sorry we never totally got along. What are you talking about? We got along great! Last week we went to the carnival together! Uh, truly that was just Patman disguised as me. Oh, by the way, thanks Patman and the Armored Star for doing that. No, no problem. problem. Wait! Both of you? How did I never notice? Commissioner Squarepants and Jenkins, take care of this city while I'm gone. Well, actually, I was gonna retire in a couple weeks. We'd be happy to, Patrick Man. Oh, and background characters, thanks so much for cheering me on. You rock, Patrick Man. You're the best. And finally, Albert. My closest companion for a majority of my life. Bye. Wait, what? What? That's it. You said more words to the calendar man than me. Well, he didn't even say anything to me. Oh, right. Blind out Terry. Sorry I- Hold up. I want a better goodbye. What do you want me to say, Albert? Do you want me to tell you how you've been like a father to me? Or how you made me the starfish I am today? Or how I cherish you over anyone else in my entire life? Actually, yeah, that was perfect. Oh, good. Well, I think that's everyone. Hey, how long does it take to get turned into paper? Oh, oh never mind. I feel it now. Goodbye, sir. It happened. It finally happened. Patrick Man is gone. I've never been so happy in all my life. Soda on me, everyone. Ha ha ha. Ugh. Ugh. DP? Wait, what happened? How long have I been... Albert? Oh, hello, former Master Star. I guess I'm glad to see that you're alive. Albert? No way! What happened to your hair? And skateboard? And hair? Sir, I'm not in the mood. Wow, you all look like someone just died. Well, except for those guys over there. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! So, who's that? This is the starfish that saved us all, including you. Yeah, cool. Hey, what's this? I just found it on the ground. It looks pretty cool and- Uh, hey everyone. Oh, come on, he wasn't even gone for a minute. Ugh, oh, I hate fake-outs. Well, I think you'll hate prison more, because that's where all you criminals are going. Well, I think our work here is done. I better get back to New York and stop some crime lord from taking over the entire city. Classic Marvel and their light-hearted universe, unlike DC. Hey, Batman, can we stop for ice cream on the way home? No! Please? Uh, fine. Yay! Then can we go watch Teen Titans go to the movies? Don't push it, Robin! So, I thought I lost you for a second there. Yeah, I did too, and... what? So, I hear you're the one who saved me. Thanks. Play Cool Patrick, play Cool Patrick, play Cool Patrick. Dad! I missed you so much, I love you! Uh, he's a very emotional superhero, <laughs> right, sir? Um, yeah, I say that to everyone I meet, like, uh, uh, hey, dude, love you, man. Wow, thanks. I really needed that today. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now that you're back, do you think you'll go visit your son? Not that I know that you have a son or anything, but are you gonna? Yes, of course, I'll do that right now. 
Okay, take your time. Albert, quick, we have to beat him home. Well, okay, sir, but we didn't bring the pet mobile. I have an idea. Commissioner Squarepants, I need to borrow one of your police boats. Well, you did just save the day. Okay, but be careful. All right, I'll be extra careful. So, Albert, how do I look? Like a starfish in a suit. Perfect! Any minute now, my dad's going to walk right through that door! Any minute. Any minute. Oh, Philin. Oh, Philin. Oh, oh, what? Dad? Dad! Oh. Sorry, I was expecting someone else. Well, have a nice day. So, was it your father? No, just my mom. Oh, well, okay then. It's just his mom. Go oh, back to sweeping. <laughs> Wait, what? Sir, I'm so glad to have you back. I was so lost without you. I mean, I had to go back to selling muffins. And you know how much I hate muffins. Yeah, whatever, Sergeant. So, are they mad? Well, you've been gone for two years, so... Yeah, they're a little mad. Alright, hand me my good toupee. Here you go, sir. Now remember, no one can find out about this. You mean that you're the leader of a secret society whose sole goal is to become rich and destroy anyone who gets in their way? What? No, I was talking about the toupee. No one can find out I wear a toupee. But yeah, I guess what you said is pretty important too. Oh, here goes nothing. Everyone, we have a lot to talk about.